Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again, and I've got a brand new piece to show you from Around Square. This is the Mini Sigma Longform MK Ultras. Now I've reviewed the original version previously, and this is one of the latest iterations. Also stick to the end of the video for a quick tutorial on how to make your own set like this, as I know not everyone can or wants to spend money on something like this. So first off, for the uninitiated, what is it? To keep it simple, this is a titanium beaded bracelet. Can do more than just being worn, but I'll get to that in a sec. This is a longer version of the original with 51 mini Sigma beads on the main loop, plus four on the tail and a single micro boss bead as the keeper. The beads have a blasted finish, but they also come in an array of anodized colors and a natural machined finish, of course. Putting the bracelet on is super simple. You just place it over your wrist then twist it once and wrap it around a second time. Then you can cinch up the keeper or clasp bead. Now I really love the look of this double wrap around bracelet. And as for the tail, you can always tuck it underneath to keep it out of the way further if you want. Now, as I said, this bracelet is quite the fashion statement, but as with many around square products, it can be manipulated and played with as well. The MK Ultra line is a modern take on the Mala and Comboloy beads. And as such, a few basic moves that can be done with the beads are the raindrops, which makes a really soothing and stimulating tactile and auditory experience. And because the long form is longer than the original, the duration of the raindrops continues for a greater amount of time. It's super satisfying. They can also be used for bead counting and breath work for when you want to be more discreet and not make a lot of noise. And of course, they can be slung around much like that of a Beglary. But because they are so much longer, the manipulations are much simpler, which I actually quite like as I feel less pressured to be quote unquote good with these. And I can just do some simple moves to entertain myself. The moves can be very simple with these with some basic inside catches and flourishes. And there's not really all that much more that you need. However, there are still some really great long form players out there, much better than myself, of course. Now the MK Ultra does make reference to a rather dark undertaking in the history of the CIA and all that, but they are intended for a much different purpose based on the around square philosophy. Quite the opposite actually. The gear, toys and jewelry from around square all have elements of mental and physical health and well-being behind them, as well as mindfulness. Now you don't have to read that far into the stuff, but it's there if you are interested in that aspect. The bead counting aspect of this set feels good, but they're not as good as say the original set as the mini Sigma beads are smaller and lighter. So they're a little less satisfying to manipulate in that manner. So let's address the elephant in the room as always with the price. Now I know a lot of people might think that these are expensive and they would be right. They are by no means cheap or inexpensive, but let's look at what these really are. Now I'm not a machining expert, but if you look closely at each of these beads, they're not just cylindrical. If you look at the outer edges of each of them, they have been radiused. Now this makes the beads very nice to touch. And if you look at the inside bore of each bead, these inner edges also have been radiused. So this prevents beads from having a sharp inner edge and that would cause the core to fray and wear out. And finally, they have a blasted finish, which gives it that distinct titanium look. And titanium is also not a cheap material by any means, though you can get these in metals like stainless for a slightly lower price. And if you think of it, these are a piece of jewelry. You know, they're not just a toy. I feel like just labeling it a toy can kind of devalue it. And there are lots of bracelets out there that go for way more and you get way less. I mean, I've seen simple rope and shackle bracelets that go for a hundred dollars. So all I'm trying to say is that there is a lot of quality here and by no means am I trying to convince you to buy these or find any worth in them. I'm just giving you my experience. And if you think these titanium models are expensive, you should check out the pricing on the exotic materials versions. Anyhow, I personally love these ultras and they have been serving me very well. I've been thoroughly enjoying wearing them as well as playing with them. So if you are interested in getting a set for yourself, I'll have a link down below to the Around Square website. And depending on when this video goes up, 
Stock could be limited, but there are restocks pretty often, and you can follow Matt from Around Square on Instagram for the latest updates. And finally, if you want to make a set for yourself as a more cost-effective solution, this will be a condensed tutorial, but I will have a full detailed video for this going up the day after this video. We're going to take some 275 paracord. I used about three feet and I got these eight millimeter stainless steel beads and I'm going to feed 48 of them onto this piece of paracord. And about 10 and a half inches from the midpoint of the loop, I'm going to tie three snake knots. Cinch all three knots right next to each other. Then on one tail end, place another bead onto the end. And then from there, tie a double overhand knot. Do the same on the other tail end. And next with some micro cord, tie five cobra knots to form a clasp bead. Then after that, snip and melt the excess microcord ends, as well as the excess 275 ends. And now you have something very similar to the Around Square Longform Ultras. Obviously not as nice, but functionally very similar. And of course, I love my titanium, so the Around Square set will always be my go-to, of course. But hey, if you're looking to try this kind of bracelet out and want to flip one around for fun to see if you like it, you should definitely make a set to try out first. But I will say the Around Square set really is something, and I take a lot of pride in owning one. But that's just me. Try it yourself.